And our friends over at GCC, the Guam Community College, are celebrating 45 years this year. And the college continues to thrive with some great programs and boot camps. And joining me live in studio to tell me more is Denise Mendiola, the Assistant Director for Continuing Education Workforce Development. Got to catch my breath, Denise, because your <laughs> title is so long. First of all, how wonderful it is to see you in person after two years. I've interviewed you a kajillion times and everything like that. We weren't able to do it, obviously, because that whole pandemic thing. But welcome to the studio and welcome back. It's so good to see you. Thank you. I, I just realized it was Zoom the last time we were on yeah. the show. It was always online for the last two years. I mean, I mean we, could, we could pretend again we did that. You know, if you yeah, want to, like, okay, you're like, here. <laughs> This, this, is, this yeah. is basically my Zoom experience yeah, for yeah, you for like yeah. the last two years. No, I get but, it. I get but, it. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> most pressing issue we got to talk about. Boot camps are wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been going on. You have been helming these things, I guess, and you, know, you and many other people like working mm -hmm. behind you. How well have they been attended? Because, I mean, you know, they're intended for um, rapid response. They get our workforce, you know, completely trained up, qualified up, certified up, right. uh, whatever you call it and everything. How have they taken off as in, in your assessment as far as success rate? Well, uh, GCC has was uh, started doing the boot camps in about 2018 timeframe. And then since then, it just created its own momentum and it's grown tremendously, you know, throughout the, the last couple of years that I've been there. And then when the pandemic happened uh, and because there was such a need to shift into different industries, then we saw an even bigger increase in demand. People that no longer had jobs in the hotel industry and needed to get into something mm -hmm. better and uh, something more stable and sustainable. And so it's been growing since then. And, and to this day, we still have a ton of boot camps lined up. We still have 100% uh, participation rate. Um, our completion rate is about 85%. So it's it's been doing really well. That's really, really good. Mm -hmm. And I know, so you've had shipbuilding, you've had construction, uh, you've had, was it a uh, medical coding? Mm -hmm. Was also a one, yeah. So yeah. The memory still works. Yeah, you remember. Yeah, even um. even at my, my <laughs> old age. Um, but because it made such an impression on me and I was like, wow, I wish these things were around for me and my me and my friends when we did it. But the fact that you're, you're making it available to so many Guamanians, whether people want to pivot to a different career, whether lo they're looking to level up their skills, I mean, is a wonderful opportunity. I think a lot of the conversation happened around uh, you know, with President Okada and Dave De La Sola from Department of Labor mm -hmm. and the administration, and they knew that this needed to be um, addressed. It was it was such a it needed to happen fast because people needed to work, and because there was such a demand for it, we needed to f create a model that allowed them to be able to get that hands-on experience really fast and get their feet in the door. Mm -hmm. And so um, it it opened up so many opportunities for people that you wouldn't think would be in that that kind of industry. So mm -hmm. now they have like a bunch of new skills that they bring to the table. And fast being the operative word, because yeah. the, what is it, the average uh, timeline from beginning to end is uh, 12 weeks, as opposed to like maybe like a two, three, four year degree program? R yes, yeah. and, and it can run from two weeks up to 12 weeks. Well, about. that's right, you did have, the, you, mm -hmm. did, you could crank one of these out in like half a month. Yes, we mm. uh, our IT tech boot yeah. camp because it was so hyper focused on IT and so every day they're in there from 8 to 5 just learning all that stuff that you know and I don't mm -hmm. IT stuff yeah well us, us, <laughs> us nerds you know we got to stick together and, and they're fast right because yeah. you know they're smart and everything and in the world people. is digital too <laughs> exactly yeah and then and then they had employers already at the other end waiting for them to complete and they were interviewed and they were hired on. So the, it was a great way to be able to connect employers that had a, a need for people with people that had a need to be in new careers. Mm -hmm. So it was like almost like a matchmaking service mm -hmm. between the two. Okay, now obviously you have a, a strong track record to this point. What boot camps do you have right now and what are coming up? Right now we have the child care boot camp. Uh, we're, we're partnered with GITA and Department of uh, Public Health. Very much needed. Child care has been in the, in, in the headlines a bunch lately. Huge. And, you know, there's so many. It goes so far. Uh, this is really just. I love that logo, zone. by the way. Isn't that cute? Yeah. We have to uh, thank Regine for that. She's so awesome. <laughs> so Regine uh, Bisco Lee, she is former senator. This. Yes. So nice talented. work, Regine. She just put all of this stuff together. And so she's a great partner with GITA. And um, so what they're doing is they have this great program that we rolled out to help them with. And right now there, there are students in the boot camp, but this is the first cohort, but we have four cohorts that mm -hmm. are going to be planned uh, up until the end of this year. Mm -hmm. So it really puts them through, again, the fast track training, um, learning childcare development, and all the other stuff that comes with it, like 
basic life-saving skills and work ethic and, and, and all that good stuff, right? So you package it all together. And then the participants, once they complete the boot camp, they get hired on with the daycare center and they get two months paid uh, compensation. I was going to say, talk about that too, because for each of the boot camps, and mm -hmm. you know, I mean, the disciplines are so diverse mm -hmm. and so, you know, I mean, shipbuilding to, to childcare. I mean, you know, rarely shall the twain meet. But the Probably one, not. Yeah. Well, would you, well we I guess if you're going to make a ship, somebody's going to watch the kid, Somebody right? Somebody needs to watch the kid. Yeah. So, yeah, we can make that can work. You tell, can you tell I'm a single pathetic loser? I know. Yeah. No, that's not uh, it. But I think that I can see you're trying to make the dots connect. Yeah. But, I mean, there, yeah. the, the one thing that we cannot argue is there is a very specific and proven pipeline yes. for people completing these programs and going straight into, you know, the workforce. And, Absolutely. And finding meaningful, lucrative work. Well, you know, the pandemic has really allowed everybody to kind of change the way things are defined. So when you think childcare, you think just all childcare centers. Now there's a new, you know, there's a model where they can take care of kids at home you know, with the, the group home care. Mm -hmm. And now we're thinking, well, who are these childcare providers? It could be the grandparents now. And so they just need to get trained up and then they have an opportunity to get paid through things like the block grant. So. It also provides them additional compensation, but then they get to take care of the family, the kids that they're already taking care of. Mm -hmm. So different models of being able to provide childcare in the community. I can see retirees even mm -hmm. using what they've done again for you know for their exactly. own grandchildren or you know maybe the kids in the neighborhood, yeah. turning that into a post-retirement business. Right, and so this short-term training gives them more of a formal training on like, this is how you manage a group of, st of kids, right? Mm -hmm. This is how you make sure that you can provide effective um, safety and and be knowledgeable about the, the the environment in you know the home that you're providing to them when you're caring for them. Mm -hmm. So that's where we come in. GCC provides that because we have all of the instructors uh, that provide the formal training. Then we've got the partners, Gita Public Health, that provide the the structure around it, mm -hmm. the the wrap wraparound services, if you may. And again, you don't have to like take you know two years out of your life, a substantial portion of you know what you do. You may be working like full time in a different career now. Maybe you can take leave, you know, knock one mm -hmm. of these out, and then you know. You're, you're ready to it's launch true. on a different career. It's true. And the thing about it is you get your foot in the door because these training programs also provide college credit. So then it gives you a chance if you want to come back and earn a certificate or earn a degree. This is already has been paid for by a funding source. So mm -hmm. you get some college credit while you're getting the short term training. And then if you want to make this a long term career, then you can come back and do that. Truly a virtuous cycle. Absolutely. Okay, so how can people get involved? How can they find out more information? And more importantly, how can they register if, you know, anything we've talked about today, and we hope all of it has, has piqued anybody's interest about? Sure. So for the child care boot camp, they would contact Gita directly. So 647-4332. I memorized it. <laughs> and then for the other stuff, like both of the, our memories work right? at our age. It's, it's working. And the ship repair boot camp, which is, uh, we're doing that right now with GCC. So they can contact us directly um, at 735-5640 or get onto our website and contact us online that okay. way. Uh, that's www.guamcc.edu. So okay. the ship repair is the big one that's happening. We have diesel also sure. coming up. So a bunch of stuff. Oh, like d diesel technicians? or Diesel mechanic, which oh, okay. is a huge need right now. Exactly. Huge demand. That's, yeah. I mean, talk about heavy metal. That's that's some pretty big... You're not kidding. Yeah, I, I've always just wanted to do that, you know, like on, on live TV. So, you know, you've, you've made one of my dreams come I true. I feel Thank like you. you should come and talk to the class at some point and just do that. There you I can yeah. even wear my Motley Crue shirt, you know, like dri drive the point home. Okay, real quick, can you give us a teaser about some of the uh, boot camps coming up down the road? So we have uh, diesel that's coming up June 9th. We have medical home health aid that's like mm. caregiving, uh, which is a really big need as yes. well in the community. So that's happening June 9th as well. Yeah. Um, we've got a uh, boot camp for ship repair coming up on May 23rd, or I'm sorry, May 31. Mm. May 31 is the next ship repair. So there's ship building and then ship repair now. It's it's ship repair really. Marine, um, you know, mar like diesel mechanic for marine. Okay. Um, carpentry, plumbing, all of that stuff, HVAC. Sure. Yeah, so all of that stuff. And then we've got um, another bus driving boot camp coming up, mm. and that's with uh, DPW and GRTA. So that's a whole other industry again, transportation, and that's going to be happening in July. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, so we only have a few more seconds, in, and I know you're not like, you know, you didn't come here to speak on the administration side. So Dr. Okada, just permit me like a second. <laughs> You and I are roughly the same age, right? I know G sure. the last time we reported this, GCC is, you know, considering names for, you know, like uh, for its mascots. Can we please go back to tradesmen? Oh, you like that. I love tradesmen. Okay. Like when I was in school, okay. that was, that was, the, yeah. their school colors, 
Remember when, when people yes. used to graduate from GCC and yes. they would have the orange and the blue? Yep. Those things look slick when you hang it from the cars after you graduate. We need to get the alumni folks out there yes. to, to campaign yeah. for that. Yeah. But you, you have you have my vote. I'm just saying, you know, okay. tr tradesmen, tradesmen we will all mark the way. That. We will mark that. Thank you. Duly noted. <laughs> all right. Well, Denise, always, always good to see you. Please come back anytime. Thanks for having us. Thanks for sharing these boot camps. They're a wonderful opp opportunity. Absolutely. Thanks. All right. Please stay tuned, everybody. We are back right after this. Get up-to-the-minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on...